Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa Vanderkay Tomasulo, St. Michael's College, Colchester, Vermont. I'm coming to you today from the Association for Psychological Science Annual Convention 2011 in Washington, D.C. I'm sure you've all experienced psychological stress in your life before, whether that's for navigating through traffic or for presenting um, at a public um, event. And basically, those types of stressors activate two biological stress systems, the HPA axis as well as the SAM axis. Our work wanted to look at how stress can affect those biological systems, uh, particularly looking at spatial attention and spatial learning, which there's a paucity of research in that line of work. Ex uh, participants in our experiment were non-smoking undergraduates. We had 60 of them, both male and female. Participants had their heart rate and blood pressure uh, recorded during various tasks. Those tasks were sitting and resting quietly or during a socially evaluated cold presser stressor, which is the method that we used to elicit stress, or during a non-stress condition where participants were watching a nature video. After those tasks, they participated in either a useful field of view, spatial attention task, or a virtual navigation, spatial learning challenge. And what we found was that during the useful field of view task, which is the spatial attention task, that males actually were more accurate than females if they were under stress, and if they were a cortisol responder, which we also measured salivary cortisol to investigate the HPA response. For the virtual navigation task, we didn't find any sex differences. However, we did find that those individuals who were high cortisol responders, regardless of male or female, were faster and also more accurate on the task. So we did demonstrate that a, H, a socially evaluated cold presser stressor can lead to HPA responses, which in tune can affect spatial attention and spatial learning.